Hi there, Mr. Lee here again, uh, just doing a quick uh, unit test breakdown um, to help you out and to understand how it was evaluated and what's important. Um, so uh, again, just a reminder that it's very important that your child really reflects on um, their strengths and their areas of improvement afterwards, because we really try and stress that uh, each student um, looks at learning as a process of improvement and learning from mistakes rather than just uh, um, uh, a constant evaluation and labeling of what they've done. Um, yeah, here we go. On the first page, um, this is really our knowledge and um, thinking, uh, knowledge and understanding area predominantly. Okay, And there are some uh, right or wrong answers for most of this page. Over here we were hoping to see some work to see how the student uh, created a lowest common denominator um, and then also created um, the lowest possible fraction in the solution. The second page of the test is the one that involves a lot more thinking, communicating and applying of concepts. In question 9 um, they should have come up with the fact that 7 eighths is greater than 2 thirds. And um, in the explanation, they should have explained that it had something to do with the common denominator and um, that by making them equivalent, it was clear that one was larger than the other. Over here, Raj is correct in their disagreement, whether it was 1 half or 2 thirds. Um, and there could have been many different ways. Some people might have chosen to show it through pictures, through numbers, or through words, and ideally a combination. Question 11, 16 slices left. Um, if each slice was an eighth, then if there were two whole oranges left, then there must be 16 slices left. And finally, in question 12, um, both are correct, um, three-fourths and two-fifths um, can either have a common denominator of 20 or 40. And um, the explanation should include something about the fact that 20 and 40 both work as common denominators for 4 and 5. Okay. And finally, to evaluate or complete the solution to 3 fourths plus 2 fifths, we were looking for a creation of a lowest common denominator and then a mixed fraction, um, a mixed, uh, a mixed fraction at the end, turned into a mixed fraction from an improper fraction. Twenty-third, twenty-three twentieths, turning into one and three twentieths. Okay, hopefully that was helpful for you and your child, and um, I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.